guys, Keith here, and welcome to beer review number 24. Today we have Left Hand Brewing's Milk Stout, the Nitro version. If you remember my very first beer review was their regular Milk Stout, and this one is just going to have some nitrogen added to it, so it's going to be more creamy and smooth, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, pick one up. I finally tracked one down, so, uh, you know, it'll be, should be much more uh, creamy than the regular milk stout so nothing really uh, much to explain on this one aside from uh, six percent alcohol and it says to pour hard so they want you to pour it pretty aggressively in the glass so we're gonna try it and we're gonna hope it doesn't spill or overflow I've got the 20 ounce imperial pint with me today so should uh, should catch anything that might wanna you know overflow but I don't think it will they usually don't these nitrogen beers so let's go ahead and get it cracked open and get it in the glass here we go and it's cascading nicely you can see there And that's what a lot of these nitrogen beers will do. Give that nice cascade effect and you're supposed to let it rest, let all that uh, kind of settle and you'll have a nice good creamy foam head at the top and once it's all cascaded you're good to go and start enjoying your beer so we'll let it do that. Alright, it has settled now so let's see if we can get any light through it. Just barely some uh, ruby tinges around the edge. Uh, pretty dark. Pretty dark for a milk stout at least. So let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Yeah, very reminiscent of the regular milk stout. Uh, chocolate, some mocha nose, uh, nose on it. Um, no alcohol. A little bready. Really pleasant smelling stout. Uh, one probably would be a good session stout. You know, 6% is not going to get you to buzz too quickly. So let's go ahead now and get a little taste on it and see what the nitrogen has done to the milk stout. Very nice. Extremely flavorful. Much more flavorful than I thought it was going to be. The nitrogen beers do tend to be a little thin because of the nitrogen, that smoothness, the creaminess, so you don't get a lot of that bubbly carbonation. Um, but the chocolate and the coffee is really strong in this one, which is very impressive. I'm glad to see that they have kept kept all the good flavors in there. They didn't have to change it or do anything to, uh, anything to it. So it still tastes really great. It's just real smooth and creamy now. So that nitrogen really, really is nice. It's like kind of like you're getting it off the off tap or something so real good yeah very nice yeah very smooth it says they use um, some milk sugar in this beer which is what get, makes it the milk stout that the lactose uh, also adds a creaminess to it so between the milk the milk sugar and the nitrogen, you've just got a real creamy treat here. Uh, it's uh, for someone who maybe doesn't like um, a lot of beers, the maybe the the taste or anything of that, some of those more harsher, intense beers, this one might be something they could enjoy. It's uh, very, very easy drinking. Um, no alcohol in the nose, no alcohol on the taste. Very nice. Um, really a, a just extraordinary stout. So all right, it says to enjoy at about 40 to 45 degrees. So we'll let it warm up here just a little bit, not too long. Uh, get it about to those temperatures and. And we'll see how it is. 
Alright guys, we're back now. It's been about 20 minutes and let's go ahead and get a nose on it now that it's warmed up. And look at that lacing. Is that not nice? Well, pretty thin in the nose. Just very faint, uh, some roasted malts, some chocolate, but it is very faint. Uh, most of the smell has gone away from this beer now. Um, you know, maybe it's uh, trapped under the thick, creamy head it's still got. It's uh, not much left in the glass, but it's still got a finger of head on it. So that nitrogen really, really does the trick. Let's give it a little swirl and get a nose on it. Maybe that might change it up a little. A little coffee, a little caramel, uh, but for the most part it is pretty thin still. So, probably will be that way on the taste, but I don't know, so let's go ahead and taste it and see. Well, it's actually still tasting pretty good. Some um, bitter chocolate. Roasted malts are really coming through now. Uh, a little coffee coming through. Uh, really, really nice. A little even, uh, maybe even a little toffee in there. So, as far as a stout is concerned, this is definitely going to be better than a lot of the stouts out there as far as price and alcohol is concerned. You know, yes, it's not a, a legendary imperial stout by any means, but it is a very good, probably pretty easy, sessionable beer to enjoy. Uh, just a great style. Let's go ahead and finish it off. Really nice. Real creamy. Chocolatey. Very good. Well, you could definitely drink two or three of these. Uh, no problem, and not be overly buzzed. I mean, unless you just have a very low tolerance, but, you know, if you've got a medium or high tolerance, you'll probably be alright sessioning a few of these, no problem. Very tasty, easy drinking. The 6% alcohol is not... I never did pick it up in the smell or the taste throughout the whole beer. Uh, my buzz, very, very mild, light buzz. So, you know, one or two of these will get you feeling pretty good and two or three of these you know you could session them you could definitely session this uh, no problem so uh, not bad for what it is as far as a rating I'll probably give it probably give it a maybe a B I think a B would be fair it seems to have a lot of the important information on it uh, yeah it seems to have a lot of the stuff you would need to know, uh, the date is on there, but it is pretty faded. It's very hard to see, but it's uh, good for till April 12th, 2015, so we're well before that. So, you know, you can uh, keep it a little while. It's not a hoppy beer, so you don't have to worry about the hops fading away or any of those other tastes fading away. So definitely one that you could um, keep in the fridge a little while and not have to worry about it losing its flavor or going bad. The alcohol's on the bottle. It tells you, you know, basically what you need to do to get it out of the bottle and into the glass. So, you know, they really go, they take the extra step to kind of help you out in what to do with these nitro beers. So I like that. So I'm going to give them a B. Uh, one that you'd want to pick up for sure if you like stouts and if you want a nice creamy smooth stout versus one of those real bitter bold stouts. Uh, very nice. So definitely, if you see it, pick it up and let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't, and uh, all that great stuff. So it's going to wrap this one up, and please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any comments you might have, and anything else you might want to tell us or let us know, or if you've tried any of these things that we've been trying, and what you thought of them. We'd like to know that, so... Uh, be sure to drop us a line if you uh, have any questions or anything. So I'll catch you on the next one.